Hi, Kay here from the Late Bloomer Garden, and today we're going to talk about aloe vera, which is one of the healthiest things you can grow in your garden. Not only is it great for scrapes and burns on your skin, but it can also be taken with caution as a dietary supplement. So today I'm going to show you how to harvest the leaves and prepare the gel for use. Tip number one, you want to take leaves off of a mature plant. And the leaf that has the rosy tips are the ones that are ready to be harvested. You want to use a knife as opposed to scissors because you're going to damage the plant less. And you want to cut as close to the stem as you can get. And there you go. So we're going to harvest four leaves and then we will process them for the gel. As soon as you cut the leaves, you want to hold the cut side down and let any of the juice drip out. This juice is called aloin and it can cause the gel to be bitter. If you can see, these have been dripping into a bowl. There's the juice that has been dripping out. So that's what makes can make it bitter. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off these spikes with scissors. Basically, you just want to cut off these tips so you don't hurt yourself, which is why I recommend using gloves. These are like little shark's teeth along the edge. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to fillet this as though you were taking the skin off of a fish. And you just need a sharp little knife. And I have a little paring knife because I wanted to keep the skin really thin and preserve as much gel as possible. Actually, I'm going to do this without gloves because the gel is great for your skin. And I can feel it better. You basically want to get the skin off so you can access the gel. The idea is to take as least skin off as you can because you want to preserve as much of the gel as you can. And you can use it immediately on a burn. Let's leave the gel in here. And okay, here is a nice piece of gel. And it's slippery. But look at these lovely pieces of gel that you can use topically or you can put them in smoothies. So there you have it. It takes a little skill getting that skin off as you can see, but you can use this on your skin or as a digestive aid or put it in your smoothies. But make sure it's right for you first. Thanks so much for watching this short how-to video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.